Genevieve Kelly's attorney says that his client wants to go on trial and wants to clear her name. But right now, as for that daughter that's in the center of all of this, her location is still unknown. Genevieve Kelly, a mother that nearly 10 years ago in the middle of a custody battle disappeared with her then 8-year-old daughter, faced a judge Thursday. She turned herself in in November and now faces felony charges. She's facing two charges of interference with child custody. At her arraignment, Kelly's attorney, Alan Rosenfeld, wasn't clear on whether or not she had an up-to-date passport, and the state was concerned she may leave the country again. The bombing and weaving that's accompanied this passport and another name issue is, at least I find, extremely disturbing. And I agree with the state that that is reason for grounds for increasing the amount of cash bail above and beyond what I ordered the last time. The judge increased her bail from $50,000 set in November to $250,000 cash. Back in 2004, Kelly was trying to prove that her ex-husband, Mark Nunez, had hurt their daughter, but she wasn't successful, and he was never charged with a crime. Kelly took off with the girl during the family court proceeding, and investigators have said that at some point she left the country. Nearly a decade later, the now 18-year-old is nowhere to be found. In court, the state made a motion to get the defense to produce her so she could get a medical evaluation, but the judge denied that, and the mystery continues. As of right now, the jury selection will begin at the beginning of March, and a trial will follow soon after, and we're told that it could be two weeks long. Reporting in Lancaster, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.